I'm Stephen Ben Danoon and you're watching Israeli News Live. They have a million man march in Paris in solidarity against the uh, killings, the terrorist killings that are going on not only in Paris but around the world. But the absurdity of the whole march was the fact that not only uh, of course, it would be expected that uh, the Prime Minister of Israel would be marching in it, but Mahmoud Abbas, uh, the Palestinian uh, chairman and authority, a leader of the PA authority in, uh, from the West Bank, also marched in this very, uh, very same march there. Uh, there uh, Mr. Uh, Bennett uh, from Israel, one of the uh, people from the, one of the leaders of the Likud party, he spoke about the outrage as well of this happening. That's Naftali Bennett, as well as uh, Moshe Faglin, saying that this should have been the last person marching in a terrorist march, especially seeing he supports a, 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 and is part of a terrorist nation that continually wreaks havoc on Israel and, 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 con and never condemns it, but is always sympathetic towards such a... Uh, all, all the violence that happens in Israel. It is quite absurd nonetheless. Also, other people that were in the march, it says uh, that uh, the article that, that reads here from Israel National News, it says that uh, on the streets, many came with their families. Uh, Jean Aline said that, that he brought his seven-year-old son, uh, Alessandro, with him so it was more concrete for him so that he can see that we all talk, excuse me, think the same thing. The people who pick up a gun and kill people are cowards, the 39-year-old uh, gently explained to his uh, boy. I want to show that, that we're not scared of extremists. I want to defend freedom of express, expression, said 70-year-old Jacqueline Saad Roana. The families of those who died in the shootings led the march alongside the heads of state and royalty. Security French capital was beefed up with the police snipers stationed on the rooftops and plainclothes officers among the crowd in the city still reeling from the Islamic attacks. Today Paris is the capital of the world, Holland said. Uh, the entire country will rise up, he told ministers before the march. Uh, just, but yet the absurdity that they allowed Mahmoud Abbas to take part in this march. When we actually looked at this article and read this on Israel National News, I could not help but make the comment, who were they trying to please? Were they trying to please the Pope of Rome? Why was Mahmoud Abbas a known terrorist, supporter of a terrorist regime, be allowed in a march where Islamist terrorists we're killing Jews in Paris. What a hypocrisy. I'm Stephen Bendenu with Israeli News Live.